interested in animal emotion. We know that animals feel a range of things from happiness to sadness. And through some of my research, I began to get the sense that animals grieve. But we're not alone in this world as smart feeling creatures. We're surrounded by smart feeling creatures and I love that. The study of animal grief is really in its infancy, but one of our touchstone species is the elephant. Elephants will stand vigil at the body of a dead companion. Another example comes from Ian Douglas Hamilton and his team of researchers. For a full week, they tracked what elephant families did after a matriarch named Eleanor died in Samburu National Park. Elephants from five different families came at the body. Some stood vigil, they rocked in distress over the body. Others tried to stroke her, stayed with her. Some elephants were indifferent. These are animals with personalities. They're not all the same. But very clearly over many days, this body was an attractant and there was visible distress. But some of the most moving and really stunning examples in my book come from dogs, cats, and rabbits even. One of my favorite examples were two Siamese sister cats. One of them unfortunately died this cat, who was named Willa, would go past a place in the house where the two of them had slept with their bodies entwined. And she'd be walking along and not vocalizing. She would suddenly see that part of the bed or that ottoman in front of the fire. And she would wail. We have looked for grief and found it among our closest living relatives, chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, the African apes. As an anthropologist, want to be careful not to go too far. But for me, this is very central to what I care about a great deal. Animal-human relationships in society, animal welfare, that we think about what we're doing, that when we look into the eyes of an animal, depending on who that animal is, that there's something going on there. And that it really behooves us to think about how we act.